it's Sasa and today this is going to be a tutorial about how to make a lovely bowl of noodles, vegetable noodles. Um, so this is a very fast uh, fast meal that you can make. You pretty, much, whoops, you pretty much boil the water and in the time it takes for you to boil the water you cut up all the ingredients and you shove it all in a pot and then you just eat it. So when I'm lazy um, I eat this for dinner or um, this is normally also a, a lunch, a, a popular lunch meal so this is what it is. Um, you can choose any kind of noodles, um, any kind of vegetable toppings. Um, for this, I have um, I have a fried egg here as well as tofu. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, so here are the vegetables I'm going to be using. So here we have tomatoes. This is a piece of garlic, and this is ginger. So this is going to be into the soup base. So when I boil the water, I add these things and we let this simmer longer. And this one is mainly for the toppings. This is um, in English is called soybean sprouts or nga choy and this is green onions so these things you don't want to be overly cooked especially the green onions they're very fragrant and you want it to top it on at the very last uh, moment just before serving and over here I have carrots I have um, uh, these are called long beans and broccoli and so the carrots have to be cooked a little bit longer because um, you don't want them too crunchy and I have over here is choy sum, it's a Chinese vegetable, and I have some cabbage. So with this um, dish, you can pretty much use any vegetables you have in your fridge. That's why it's really um, easy to do. Um, you don't have to really plan for it. These are not, these vegetables you don't have to use, and this may be too many, or you can have even less, and choose to have more noodles instead. I normally like to use um, three or four different kinds of vegetables and you try to use different colors. Um, different colors gives you different nutrients and also it looks more attractive that you have um, a wide range of colors. So we can maybe have some pur well, purple cabbage, it's not very good to boil, but um, so that's why we have some orange, we have some green, we have some more white color and we have a red color. Okay, so as for noodles, there are so many different kinds of dry noodles that you can choose from as well as fresh noodles. Today I'm going to be using this one, it's an egg, uh, egg noodles, so it looks like this. And you can also, um, this one is really good as well, this is a rice noodles. And there's just a, different kinds like uh, mung bean noodles as well. So uh, there's, obviously there's a lot of different brands, so you just have to try them and figure out which one you like the best. And these are the two so far that I really like. So the first thing I do uh, when I decide to make some noodles, I put a big pot, well not big pot, this is for one person, a small pot of water to boil. So you turn this on. Once you turn the hot water to boil, um, you start preparing your ingredients. And first you start cutting up your um, soup base ingredients. So this would be the tomatoes, the ginger, and the garlic. So I normally dump this in first because you want this to um, simmer for the longest. And then you go start to cut up your other vegetables and prepare your other ingredients. That way this will have time. And I add some freshly ground pepper. I also add some white pepper. So this, its taste is very different from black pepper. So I highly suggest you try it out. So one, two. And then I also add a little bit of soy sauce. I'm also adding some tofu here. So if you want a fried egg on top of your noodles, uh, it's, once I heat up the water, I start to heat up a mini uh, fry pan to fry my egg first. Okay, so once the water is boiling, I like to add the carrots now. Because the carrots take the longest to cook, so I'll add the carrots first. Okay, and I put Personally, I like the carrots at three minutes, okay? So depending on how crunchy you like your carrots. So I put that in for three minutes. Okay, so now the carrots have been in there for about a minute, so we have two minutes left. At this point, I want to add... Okay, so now I'm gonna add in the beans. I'm gonna add the cabbage. And I'm adding the stems of the choy sum because they're a little bit thicker and I tend to cut them smaller, so I'll add that in. And I actually prefer my uh, vegetables a bit more. Oh, okay, that, that's my three minutes. There we go. Add this in. I mostly like these dark green vegetables, especially broccoli. I only put them in, I dunk them in the water, and then it's done.
see, for me, that's done. There we go. Take it out. Okay, so now you just scoop this up to your serving bowl. Now it's up to you if you like to have a little bit of the soup base, so that's pretty much the liquid part. I don't really like too much, so I only add like a little bit. There's just a splash. You add that in. And then now we're going to add a little bit of sesame oil. You don't add sesame oil before you're cooking because it's very fragrant and it tastes better um, without being cooked, so just add a little bit. Just like that. And I just like to mix this in with the noodles a little bit. Mm, you can rearrange it. I like to put the greens on the outside because it just looks more attractive. Make the tofu. Okay, we got this. And then oops, I have my fried egg. So we'll put the fried egg there. And then we have our other toppings. So I'm just going to add a bit of bean sprouts. And then the green onions. And the final step, I just sprinkle on some sesame seeds. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. So I hope you learned it and you'll give it a try out. And another note for the egg, if you, I fully cooked it here, but if you want, you can half cook it when you fry it and then put it into your soup base. And when you cook it, the flavor of the egg will mix with the, t blend with the tomato and the water and it will be a really tasty soup base. So you can do that. Um, but when you do that, the egg does come a little bit more soggier because obviously there's water. So I like my egg crispy, so I put it on the top, okay? Yummy. So that's a bite. Hi, itadakimasu. Mm. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Bye bye. Gochuzo sama deshita.